Friends No More Friends, Juno winning musician David Usher is known for his awesome tunes, but he's also set his sights upon artificial intelligence. And he is joining us this morning to talk about AI, where it's going, and how he is involved with it. Yeah, Thank you very so much fun. for joining us this morning. Happy to. So good to see hey you. Guys. And by the way, congrats on 25 years of silver. What? I know. know. How'd that happen? It seemed like yesterday. Yeah. It doesn't seem like yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> you celebrated in a big way, though. Yeah, we did a big tour. It was really a uh, big sold out tour. It was really fun. And um, now we're going, actually, we're going back to writing this afternoon. Awesome. And uh, we'll be writing through the spring and then, or through the spring, and then we'll be going on, a, on the road on a big tour Good. in June. Huge fans. We've got voice. vinyl coming out, right? We have vinyl coming out right now. Yeah. I just bought a turntable. I've been playing. Oh. I've been playing music. My son went through it. He goes, "Do you have anything good?" So I'm going to pick that up. Yeah, right. exactly. 100. Yeah. percent And uh, we need to talk about why you are in town. You have this cool. Uh, what do I call it? Like a AI den in Montreal. Well, we, we're a, an artificial intelligence creative studio, and what we do is we integrate interactive technology and all the latest and greatest AI technology, build it into this um, this stack. And then we build visualizations on top of that. So AIs that you can talk to and communicate with in all sorts of different ways. How, like, how real is the conversation? Like when you're saying talk to them, what do you mean? Um, well, you can talk to them about anything. What we do is we build this open universe conversation tree, essentially, cloud. And then as more people talk to our, our AIs, the smarter they get. So right now our, our AI is at the uh, uh, Canada Science and Technology Museum in Ottawa for the next five months. And we're, there's one going into Germany, and there's one in India coming out. And so right now, our AI speak English and French, but soon they'll speak all sorts of different languages. That's Ophelia. Tell us about Ophelia. Yeah, Ophelia is our first AI, and it's, and it's really just an example of, uh, sort of an art example of what we can do and how you can interact with AI about, about emotion, about life, about death, all these kinds of different philosophical things. But then we can also build all sorts of other characters with her. Wow. We were talking off air, and we said, do we need to be afraid of AI? We're afraid. And we thought you'd say no. And your answer was? <laughs> Probably a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Probably a little bit. Why? I mean, it, it, because if you think about the discussion around AI right now, it's really um, the professors at the universities, the researchers that are talking about it, um, and it's the big tech companies like Google and Amazon and Facebook. But we need more voices that are really going to talk about the, the consequences of AI because there's a lot of amazing possibilities of the things that we're going to be able to do, mm -hmm. things we're going to, problems we're going to be able to solve, but at the same time, there are a million questions about how it will be used and who's going to use it and how we're going to control it. How it will be monitored. So you are, of course, with Made Who We Love, always celebrating the greatest in Canadian talent and minds. Yeah. And there's an awesome thing happening for the first time tomorrow that you can take part of. So it is the Analog Conference Series. I think it kicks off at 12.30, but your session is around 3. I think so, yeah. You can live stream. So what will happen there? Well, we're going to talk about artificial intelligence, about creativity, all sorts of things. I'm going to show Ophelia live so people can get a sense of what this new technology really looks like and feels like. Um, it's quite interesting, yeah. What do you love? Like, what's that one thing that you really love about AI and, the, and what the, the possibility of it? I mean, one of the things I think that, that it's going to be able to do is really help, um, help certain people. Like, right now we're working the Sheldon Memory Lab out of McGill University. And uh, we're just launching into some testing with AI and, and uh, Alzheimer's patients. So memory patients, they lose the ability to um, do simple things in life, simple tasks. They lose the, the ability to even understand that those things exist, like music and poetry and books. Um, and so what we're doing is we're building an interface that can have simple conversations with them and remind them that these things exist and then help them play those things or read, read to them yeah. or small conversations that give them company. Not, not really extensive, but very simple things. Okay, so you're going to test us right now. I have a feeling our AI IQ is going to go very well. We got a 50-50 well. chance. See okay. how we do against the AI. Hit us with it, Usher. All Hit right. us with it. <laughs> can AI recognize emotion? Yes. I would say no, not yet. Well, the answer is sort of. Oh, sure. <laughs> there, are lot, there are a lot of companies working on it, and some think they have cracked it, and some think, some things is, some think it's a bit of trickery. So we're still, it's still undetermined, but there are a lot of companies that believe they can recognize emotion for right, sure. Right, a frown right. versus a I'm smile. I'm going to go with okay. that. I got it right on that All right. one. Okay. Um, can AI, uh, AI can see, but can it smell? No, smell. I would say yes. Again, companies working on it, <laughs> and not quite there, but coming. Really? And that's the thing with all these technologies. They're not right there, but if you imagine the billions and billions of dollars that are being poured into it, these are coming. 
Because we already have machines that can smell, uh, that are designed to smell certain things exactly. and able to set them off. Right? Like yeah, chemicals. Yeah, exactly. We always joke about smell vision Who knew it might be coming to a TV near you? Okay, next. Okay, um, can I become, AI become a Twitter troll? Like a bot? Like a bot. Yes. yes. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we all know the answer to that. Yeah. Um, right now, when you, when you put true AI into the world, often it will become uh, racist or sexist because the internet tends to, tends to be racist and exactly. sexist. And it, and it, and and that's it uses what it those data set to learn. So, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Okay. We need less trolls. And the final one. Uh, can AI create a time-traveling robot? Absolutely. Oh, I hope You're so. Laughing. I'm saying that's false. <laughs> I'm going to go with I hope so. I'm saying not yet, but soon. It's coming. Right? Really? It's coming. I think so. Yeah? I don't know. Oh, my gosh. Well, they, they managed to make uh, photons of light appear. In, exactly. Right? One exactly. photon appear in, this, in, this, in two different spots. Yeah. That's crazy to yeah. me. And Which is you, essentially time if you travel. visualize that AI is going to enhance uh, quantum computing, then you can sort of go down the path. Of oh, that. my gosh. We are living in such a crazy time, aren't we? We really are. Wow. It's an amazing time. Yeah, we're just scratching like, the surface. Make sure you check in with David to talk about this and more at the inaugural Analog Conference Series taking place tomorrow at OCAD University. It all kicks off at 1230, and you can live stream beginning 3. So good to see you, Thank David. you. Thank you very much. Have a pleasure. See and AI is going to tell us that we're going to a break right now. Oh, is that right? We are going to a break. We'll mess it up. Here's to you, sensible mom. The all business, short chart checking, snowsuit zippering mom. Well, it's Christmas. I got my jingle bells, my candy cane, my mistletoe. I got my frankincense and myrrh. <laughs> Time for fun mom to come out to play. I got virtual and actual and what she all want. For him and him and him and him and her. <laughs> Welcome, fun mom, to EB Games. EB Games. Fun is always sound. Success.